World Environment Day is a global event aimed at raising awareness and encouraging action for the protection of our environment. In today's video, we will talk about World Environment Day and know about when is it celebrated, what is the purpose of celebrating it, and what is the theme of the year 2024. And try to understand the theme of this year, so that we all can together contribute towards environmental protection. So let's start today's video. The environment is one of the most important resources for our survival on Earth. The environment nourishes and maintains us. We cannot imagine living without air, water, and soil. Plants and animals are essential survival tools. Plants help to filter the air around us. Our food is derived from plants and animals. However, we are all doing such things for selfish reasons, which are inflicting significant harm to the environment and animals. Additionally, global warming has become a serious concern, that must be addressed soon. It is one of the leading sources of environmental degradation. As a result, it is our responsibility to reduce global warming, and protect the ecosystem. Similarly, our daily activities, such as the usage of plastic, which contribute to various forms of pollution, as well as the exploitation and destruction of the planet, must be discontinued. Every year on June 5th, World Environment Day is held to help reduce these types of issues. The main goal of World Environment Day is to increase awareness among all people towards the environment. On this day, a variety of environmental activities are organized in different locations, including tree plantation drives, beach cleanups, educational workshops, essays, speeches, quizzes, art competitions, banner displays, etc. These efforts aim to raise awareness about environmental issues among people, encouraging them to adopt practices that do not harm the environment. This day was started by the United Nations in the year 1972. The first environmental conference was organized in Stockholm to stop and reduce the increasing environmental pollution. 119 countries participated in this conference. And this day was celebrated for the first time on the 5th of June 1974. After this, World Environment Day started being celebrated every year on June 5th across the world. Every year, World Environment Day is hosted by different country with a different theme. The host country for 2024 is the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The theme this year is land restoration, desertification, and drought resilience. And the slogan for the event will be our land, our future. First of all, we will understand the terms land restoration, or desertification and drought resilience. Land restoration refers to the process of halting degradation, or rehabilitating degraded land, typically through activities like reforestation, soil conservation, and the protection of natural processes. It aims to enhance biodiversity, restore ecosystem services, and mitigate climate change impacts. Similarly, desertification and drought resilience indicate that in regions, where the land has become barren and dry, something should be done in those places, which will have less influence on the environment, because the land is barren and the places, where there is drought, this hasn't happened in a couple of years, it has taken them a long time, to reach to this point, approximately 50 to 60 years, so it will take time for them to go back on track, but until this is corrected, we have to protect animals humans and the environment from its flow. According to the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification, 
Up to 40% of the planet's land is degraded, directly harming half of the world's population and endangering roughly half of global GDP. Droughts have grown in frequency and duration by 29%. Since 2000, unless urgent action is taken, droughts will affect more than three quarters of the world's population by 2050. As a result, performing any task or using equipment that harms the environment, animals, or humans. We should only do activities that are beneficial to the environment and living beings in order to safeguard the environment while also enjoying a joyful life. Main causes of drought and desertification. Climate change. Land degradation. Deforestation. Poor agricultural practices. Water mismanagement. Urbanization and infrastructure development. Now we will talk about how can we achieve land restoration and mitigate the impacts of desertification and drought. Reforestation and afforestation. Planting trees and restoring degraded forests can help mitigate the impacts of desertification by stabilizing soil, improving water retention, and providing habitat for biodiversity. Water harvesting and management. Water harvesting and management practices, like building small dams, ponds, and other water storage systems, help increase water availability and reduce the impact of drought in arid and semi-arid regions. Organic matter addition. Incorporate organic matter into the soil through practices, such as composting, mulching, and applying manure. Organic matter improves soil structure, increases water retention, enhances nutrient cycling, and promotes microbial activity. Diversified agriculture. Promote diversified and sustainable agricultural practices that are resilient to drought, such as crop rotation, intercropping, and agroforestry, which help conserve soil moisture and enhance soil fertility. Avoid sending chemicals into waterways. Chemicals are often disposed of through a drainage system that leads to rivers, lakes, or oceans. Using non-toxic chemicals for things like cleaning will help protect the environment. Use renewable energy. Take advantage of renewable energy sources, such as solar panels or wind power. Energy production is a massive part of the economy and infrastructure, but traditional production methods are incredibly harmful to the environment. Using renewable energy is an essential aspect of protecting the environment because it drastically cuts pollution while tapping into more readily available and long-term resources. Reduce, reuse and recycle. Instead of throwing away shipping boxes right after unpacking an item, consider recycling them to organize storage. Place plants outside to absorb natural rainwater during a rainstorm. Integrating these principles into your daily life helps to conserve the environment by reducing, reusing, and recycling resources. With this, we end today's video. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe our channel for more content. Thank you.